All right, guys, welcome to our next from the vault. We dug up something from 1994. We were about 1994, early old school Madison Square Garden. Classic matches make you humble. Yes, and also this tape was actually pretty hard to find. Uh, there was no music on this tape, so we actually went to the tech people that had to had them put in the original themes that they have now. And we, and also they edited in Pyro for some reason. Technology, yo. Yeah. Right. This is 1994. Yuichi Guy and Mighty Yuichi were, were in the top of their game during this time. This was also the very first time they ever fought each other in the beginning of their rivalry. This was during the time when they were at the road for the aim for that, for the, for the, for the, for, for the world title. This was the first of many of their encounters. You know, this is gonna be kind of weird. Yeah, uh, what do you think? I mean, in 1994, I was in high school. <clears throat> okay, and what, what's wrong with that? I mean, I, I, how, how, how should I be looking at these ones? Like, like, like it's 1994, like, uh, no. Time Machine, remember. I'm gonna assume when the time machine was used, they probably brought them back and brought them in from to our time with for in their prime. I would hope so. So you know, it could, be, it could yeah. be the power of immortality, yo. The fountain of youth, man. Uh, you know this, man. What if, man? what if one day we 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 stumbled across a wonder fountain that was the fountain of youth? Wouldn't that be hilarious if that was true? Huh. But enough All right, but enough random exposition. This is 19. Watching, we we had this match from 1994. I'm not gonna tell you how old I was in 1994. Y'all can just figure that shit out for yourself. <laughs> I, I think I have. <laughs> yeah, I was still pretty young back then too. Between the three of us, I'd probably be the. I would probably would have been the youngest back then. Think about this, in 1994, that, that was, in 1994, I thought was in 2014, I mean, think how cool that move was in 1994. Right. Man, I remember back when I was young, I remember I, I saw this match in the papers, but back then I was too young to watch wrestling at the time. It was actually kind of, was, kind of cool to actually see this match. Yeah. I was about to mention something very important here. Right, what? Yes, you know, Remember, remember, boys and girls, this is 1994, so you're going to see a lot of stuff in 1994 that you normally did not see in mainstream American wrestling around that time. Right. Yeah, I mean, think about it. L Lucha Libre style, which I'm pretty sure is what these two do, right? Or, well, my Yuki Ko does, yeah. Yeah. Like she, has, well, she has a high-flying background. The Yuki yeah, guy has a little bit of it. Yeah, you're good. yeah. If you know, they get if they get around to flying around. This will be a sight to see. Right. Yep. And most of these women were also in uh, fighting dreamers and also part of the IWWF as well uh, before it was bought out by Ashra in the pre in here in our present time. And most of the women from the IWWF that are currently in the in the SA roster have have the have some of the you know like the old school style. They even dress in, the, in like at the old school, and they kind of have like how my Yu Gi Oh is, for example. Wait, you, you, you got to have a top two of a double X handle. A royal crowning. I will rule you. I mean, like you see, it last time it's a, a, a double X handle, right? Right. As soon as I finish these here, then. Well, there was some high flying, Eddie, for example, that you were talking about. Yeah. Lion salt. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, look out. She recovered. 
Yeah, they start to fly. <laughs> oh, through a rain of steel steps. Oh, that can, that can not... There, there's like no way to protect yourself from a blow like that. Yeah, remember how the padding and all that were back in 1994? Yeah, now I... Jack him on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say anything in this match was going to be pretty. If you were expecting that WWE style thing, you're not going to be seeing that garbage here. No, that happened. You're not going to be seeing no 30 second battle. Oh, nice monkey flip. Now going up top. Okay, that went completely south. No. No. I, I, I see, I saw, I fear intense. Button up. Next surfboard now going right into a single leg crab. Which is right there, he's right by the wall front. So roll through. Hey, did you know that the uh the single leg Boston crab is actually a lot more painful than the Boston crab itself? Really? How so? Well, think about it this way. Even though the Boston crab works on both the knee, the legs, and the back. Think about when you're near when your opponent's getting very close to the ropes, you're like screw the leg, and you can actually bend in the single leg crab, you can bend the leg all the way back. Does anyone remember this? The single leg crab has the most variations. Well, yeah, that's true. Especially the one where you put your foot on the back of your opponent's neck when you're doing it. Right, for example. And right now he's mighty with a rear naked choke. Yeah, we all know the Renegade Choke was around during that time. Yes, indeed. Especially during, you know, most of the shoot wrestling that was going on in the 90s, like in Fighting Network Rings. In the UWFI. But then again, I'm not sure if you guys uh, saw shoot wrestling back then, which was one of the precursors to MMA. I won't admit I did not. What about you, Champ? You saw shoot wrestling uh, back in Japan? Uh, not back in the day, no. I can't, uh, it was back in the day, uh, because shoot wrestling, you know, was one of the precursors that led to MMA. MMA evolved off of shoot wrestling. Shoot wrestling was Japan's take on MMA. Where they, you're they you're combined, you're like, uh, martial arts styles along with wrestling. Huh. Well, if you want a prime example, look up Gary Albright. And now you now we got a rings of Saturn here and no. Pretty sure it wasn't called that in ninety four. Probably by like ninety six, I think. Ninety six or ninety seven. Alright. Oh, we gotta roll up, we gotta roll up, we gotta roll up, we gotta pin here? No. A lot of power in that punch, you know. Wait a minute. Got another pin here. Near fall. And so far they've been in a deadlock right now. Now to go behind Russian legs me. The move that bends the fabric of the universe. It does not bend the fabric of the universe. Stop making stuff up. I'm not making it up. You're totally making you, it up. Do you not remember what happened to Daryl Strawberry? Uh, I remember what happened to Daryl Strawberry, but I'm pretty sure it's not involved in Russian Lakes. I think it involves some other shit besides the Russian Lakes. Right. It might involve a few Russians. I think it might be Power Bomb time. I think, right. I think it might be Beauty Bomb time, guys. Uh, what are you waiting for? You're gonna, you're, no, I think, you're gonna do it, then do it. No, I think she has something else in mind. She's gonna try to move her chill slam. No. No. See? See? She's gonna do it, then do it. If not, then, you know, whatever. Whatever it is. Japanese Ocean Cyclone. Two. Oh, yeah, two count. Then she's gonna try it again. Right. One, two, no. By the throat. Oh my goodness. 
I was up in the rafters there. Beach guy mocking the fans now. Once again, she's wasting valuable time. Well, just... if I remember correctly from her history, that's how she was back then. Like she was very like hot, very arrogant, very cocky. She would take any she would take any chance to mock the, the mock the fans of the people the the fans hear us. Take all that time to want to showboat and all that other garbage, and that's why she might end up losing this match if she's not careful. I mean, hell, man, this was the woman who, at one point in time, her and Jenna Megalite broke Mighty Eve's legs, temporarily ending her wrestling career. Wow, Splash, nicely done. Yeah, that was a distance, work. too. Come on. Stand in front. Oh, God. Oh! You got knocked the fuck out. Beauty's somehow getting back to her feet, but she cannot know where she is right now. She's gonna try to cycle it again. There's no fucking clue where the fuck she is right now. Two! No! Nope. I'm going off the ropes. Drop to hold by Beauty and Chigaya. Beat the leg. I know he was only like 10 years old in 1994. Right. Oh my. What a small and black. You're getting back onto their feet. They got brought right back down to earth. Oh my god. Did it you do it again? Move over again. Go slam. Um, come on. Again, she's cover her. The head, that, ego, that ego. She's trying I to tell show you, man, she has a massive ego. She's trying to show off her fans. Are uh, your fans? Arrogance will, get, will, will get you. Arrogance will get you beat. There's the slash. She's like, here, here's mine. No. Do no. it now. Taking her down by the leg. The duty needs to get it together here. Well, how's that for getting it together? She's got an arm bar locked in. Stroud trying to get. Trying to get Mighty Eagles. Trying to get Mighty Eagles. Trying to get Mighty back into the fight here. And, uh oh. Oh! You just got bit slapped. Big time power bomb. Beauty bomb. And, ag and again, mocking it. Uh oh. See? <coughs> See? Right. It's like, like all that movie, Medicine Society. They just fucked up, right? They just fucked up. Here's that elbow again! <laughs> Got over that one hit of Twitter. Hey! Hey! What a moose! Oh, 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 oh. That's, That's it! it. Uh, well, take that beauty. That's what you get for being an asshole. It, 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 it totally saw my line, but yeah. yeah. Man, I gotta, but you gotta admit one thing for, for you. In Yugi's case, this match was not easy. No, it wasn't. I mean, she went up against a very tough opponent, but that opponent left, left the door wide open. Yeah, man, that's an ego, but then, according to the, to the History Books guys, event, a, a couple of, like, a year later, her and Jenna Mingle, like broke her legs. They broke her legs and, and ended her career for two years. Probably because, and this is only a guess, probably because she got jealous, you know, because, you know, Beauty couldn't beat um, Yukiko, right? Actually, she has beaten her before. This was how uh. personal the rivalry was. Uh. The la the, their rivalry ended in a, in a Loser Must Retire match. But Beauty Shigaya, when she lost that match, she actually went and left Japan right to America and then came back a couple months later and started an entire and restarted the whole war again.
which ultimately led to her then breaking her uh, Yukiko's legs. So even back then, the time was getting stuck. Yeah. Some things never change. Yeah, well, now, well, this was a very personal rivalry. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see if we try to find more stuff from the tapes about some of those battles. There's a lot in these archives we got to look for. There's some interesting right. shit here. Yeah, you have to tell you the look. I'd be the H and I C with my drink. I apologize. Well, yeah, Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time for from the vault. H and I C in the house. What?